Readings from the Liturgical Year by Dom Prosper Guéranger February 9th, St. Apollonia, Virgin and Martyr The Holy Virgin, who this day claims the homage of our devotion and praise, is offered to us by the Church of Alexandria. Apollonia is a martyr of Christ. Her name is celebrated and honored throughout the whole world, and she comes to us on this ninth day of February to add her own example to that which we have so recently had from her sister saints, Agatha and Dorothy. Like them, she bids us fight courageously for heaven. To her, this present life was a thing of little value, and no sooner did she receive God's inspiration to sacrifice it than she did what her would-be executioners intended doing. She threw herself into the flames prepared for her. It is no unusual thing nowadays for men that are wearied of the trials or afraid of the humiliations of the world to take away their own lives and prefer suicide to the courageous performance of duty. But Apollonia's motive for hastening her death by a moment's anticipation was to testify her horror of the apostasy that was proposed to her. This is not the only instance we meet with during times of persecution of the Holy Spirit's inspiring this lavish sacrifice to saintly virgins who trembled for their faith or their virtue. It is true such examples are rare, but they teach us, among other things, that our lives belong to God alone, and that we should be in readiness of mind to give them to Him, when, as He pleases, to demand them of us. There is one very striking circumstance in the martyrdom of St. Apollonia. Her executioners, to punish the boldness wherewith she confessed our Lord Jesus Christ, beat out her teeth. This has suggested to the faithful, when suffering the cruel pain of toothache, to have recourse to St. Apollonia and their confidence is often rewarded, for God would have us seek the protection of his saints, not only in our spiritual, but even in our bodily sufferings and necessities. The liturgy thus speaks the praises of our saint. Apollonia was a virgin of Alexandria. In the persecution under Emperor Decius, when she was far advanced in years, she was brought up to trial in order to pay adoration to idols. She turned from them with contempt and declared that worship ought to be given to Jesus Christ, the true God. Whereupon the impious executioners broke and pulled out her teeth. Then, lighting a pile of wood, they threatened to burn her alive unless she would hate Christ and adore their gods. She replied that she was ready to suffer every kind of death for the faith of Jesus Christ. Upon this they seized her, intending to do as they said. She stood for a moment, as though hesitating what she should do. Then, snatching herself from their hold, she suddenly threw herself into the fire, for there was within her the intenser flame of the Holy Ghost. Her body was soon consumed, and her most pure soul took its flight and was graced with the everlasting crown of martyrdom.